Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Do I, look, do I look fat on this couch? Does it's, he? It's not do really I, a couch. Good. Do so I look much? You, do you think from your yeah. angle? You guys are all burly. Like you guys look like you all take care of yourselves. So. Yeah. Well, oh, whoa, you guys are whoa, men. whoa, whoa, whoa. He definitely doesn't take I care of himself. That. I I have a strong, you, you look good, healthy More diet of <laughs> hot dogs. <laughs> Don't know if you've heard of them. Ballpark oh, yeah. Franks. Yeah. Well, you you had some dog. Franks last night, dude. No, no, no. I had you know, burgers last night. You know what's really good is Anne Frank. Oh, uh, big fan. <laughs> big fan. Yeah, because yeah. those hot dogs were hiding in a closet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice soon. to start off the show with an Anne Frank joke. Welcome to the show, Tyler. Uh, Thank ladies you for and, me. and gents, if you're not familiar with Tyler, uh, he's got a little, little film company uh, called Tiny Cinema. On Instagram, that is easily my favorite. My, my favorite. It's it's all of our favorites. It's all Thank of our you. favorites. Instagram, yeah. Thank you, guys. I have not laughed that hard since I discovered Five Second Films in like 2009. Oh wow, that's, that's true. a great compliment. I love those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. I was obsessed with those. Same. Those guys it was. That's those what guys got made me in. Vine, yeah. right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Inspired yeah. Vine. Yeah. 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 I thought it was the same people. And they didn't get any money for it either. No. Well, now it's all fucked. Yeah, it's all fucked. One of them was a lead in Freddie Wong's Rocket or Rocket Jumps uh, video game high school. So they had one of one of those main five second film guys in video game high school. Oh, they yeah? were fun. Yeah. There were such funny people on there. Just their time. That's when I first realized like the, how many funny people are just out there. In the world, yeah. In the world. And, and you I don't still, need all this shit. No, to, no, no. And I, and I always, I still think about that all the time. Like even with memes, I'll be like, God, people are fucking funny out there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot more than I thought. Because the what did I see? The I saw an awesome meme yesterday. It was Kurt Cobain next to a shotgun. Name a <laughs> name a more iconic duo. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I was just like, <laughs> Is that what it said? Yeah, yeah. That's what it that's said. So and I was good. like, amazing, amazing. There's a ton of that's funny so fucking good. people out there. Man, we went hard last night, Tyler. Yeah. Like real hard. I'm yeah. fucking Brad. Like I was Bradley Cooper. A star is born wasted last night. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Like you crush I, pills with a boot? Yeah, I dude. I just. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna say what what may or may not have taken place last night, but it's one of those. Was my wife was out with me, like where I start singing to her in a weird voice, you know? Tell me something, girl. Oh, you did that, huh? And it's in between like Chris Christopherson and. Uh, you know, Sam Elliott, you know, yeah. you're just like, hey, she's like, you're fucking drunk. Listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, yeah. listen to me, listen to me, <laughs> listen to me. It's just two minutes and listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Are you one of those people that can go out with your wife? I am, yeah, yeah. Like, we, because we, we do a show together. Wait, what the hell you. does that mean? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you exactly what that means. I know exactly what the fuck you're can. talking about. A lot of people can't, and they and they have these weird wives, and they end up sitting there judging them the whole night, where it's just like, right. don't don't fucking do that. And you're combining worlds. A lot of men separate their going out, their guy friends from their wife. Yeah, because they're escape, you know. And then and once they come in, you're just they're weirdly, two totally different people. Weirdly you're just like, mean Jesus. to your wife. <laughs> yeah, in front of your friends. Yeah, I just date chicks that want to murder me all the time. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't that's, matter that's if I true. invite them out or not; they'll show up. It's fucking true. Uh, so you know he, what's bad about that? Once you find a chick who doesn't want to murder you, you're not going to be as into her. That's that ship sailed, homie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. there's no more normal relationships for me. Yeah, it's there over. was there was a fucking show where uh, we're not gonna say who it was. It's this girl he was dating uh, during this show, uh, 135 missed calls in a what? Well, it was an hour and a half show. I think it was. It was. Uh, but yeah, you love it. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. It gets better. Three days go by. He falls asleep. She puts a chip into his calf. What <laughs> that she could find on track? Is this real? To no, track that's it. not real. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be. Surprised. I've had. I've dealt with that level crazy. So. Oh, have you oh, really? Not a chip, but I've had Do a guitar smashed over my head. Shut the fuck what? up. What no reason? A yeah, an acoustic guitar. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my was god! It was it Jeff Jarrett it. from the WWE? Basically, because it, it was my ex girlfriend. No, I mean, yeah. oh, it was your ex girlfriend? Yeah. Because yeah. are, are you guys not dating now? No. Because of the guitar, you don't recover. That was after towards a the end. Guitar, yeah. <laughs> you, you don't recover after a guitar. There's no taking back after that. Like, I'm sorry about the guitar. Well, my thing yeah. is this: is like, do she you tried? Yeah, yeah. Do you? But do you say, hey? Like, did she wake up in the morning and say, hey, we took things too far last night? I really apologize. Uh, we should yeah, just move she on. did that, but it was just kind of like, dude, you fucking broke a guitar over my head. Like, <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't looking good. <laughs> what was the reasoning? I don't even know. I was probably out. This was this was years ago. I was probably just like out too late, too many times or something. Right. And 
I, in my head, I picture it, uh, and this is because I've watched so much of your comedy, and I just go dark and weird all of a sudden, but I pictured you were having an affair with a guitar. Oh, yeah, th- yeah but that's great. That's <laughs> he was banging, <laughs> write that down, man. He was banging the fucking guitar, and his girl got that's mad. That's a good fucking, episode. Yeah, you should do that. like that. Dude. I, I really liked, like, <laughs> one of my favorite fiction. That's videos that, that he did was the, uh, the awkward third wheel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one was where, that? Where you show that. up, you show up, Thinking you're going on a date with this chick, but she invited you to hang out with her and her husband. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, the Valentine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, was, I feel like I've been in that situation. And they really. they end up just slow dancing, and he's like, "Will you please stop bringing over weird dudes?" <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine was the one with the mom. Yeah, you say you want to fuck my mom. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I love that one. Yeah, <laughs> I want to do another a follow up to that one. That that one's great, Mother, uh, spe- motherfuckers. Spe- exactly. <laughs> I always thought that'd be a great movie too if it was done. Motherfuckers, with those guys. Yeah. yeah. I I want to do a fucked up movie where uh, it's about a kid with leukemia. I, like I just want to fuck up an wow. entire audience for ninety minutes, right? A kid with leukemia in high school. He's a kicker, and the whole time they're setting. This up is this, Sundance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sundance. Where the, they, dude, they're yeah. setting up this ending for him to kick the game winning field goal at state. He comes out and he fucking misses, and everybody so hates him. Just fuck you, Danny. Fuck you, Danny. You That's piece actually of a good shit. episode for us. Too. And then he's, but, but then he's dead. <laughs> so it's just, it's a hard cut to black title card. Danny died from leukemia. Two <laughs> you think weeks we could later. do that in a, in a minute? <laughs> Don't but, you think it would be? But funny? not tell anybody. Yeah. And Don't. just have them sit there for ninety minutes during this fucking emotional movie, thinking that it's gonna, it's gonna come, come bright and, and it bright. Doesn't. No. But like this, no. the girl that he liked is like. Fuck you, Danny. Then when the credits are rolling, they're reading the eulogy and they're just talking mad shit about him the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like this little piece he of shit. He lost fucking even... state for God all of us. Fucking Danny. Why did we Danny. think this was a good idea? <laughs> like it's I want to do something fucked up like that. And I'm this That's why good, I'm, though. I'm so excited about your movie because you turned one of your sketches into a full feature length. It's right. Butt Boy, right? Butt Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote it here with Ryan. Ryan's also here, but he he wrote it with me. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, uh, tell it the was audience. His idea, actually, tell the audience at home what the premise of this is. Uh, it's a guy. It's a middle America guy <clears throat> who kind of has a shit marriage. He's stuck at a dead end job at this horrible office, uh, just not moving up in the world. His wife's cheating on him. He kind of gets walked all over, and he goes to get uh, his first prostate exam, and he oddly is just obsessed with the feeling it give, it gives him. So in his life, he starts to slowly um, stick objects. The objects are getting larger. He just starts shoving shit up his ass. But it's played like a David Fincher film. Yeah, so, so it's, it's played it's completely really straight, like a drama. Yeah, completely yeah. like a drama. But it's played like a David Fincher film. Yeah, and it just keeps expanding and expanding to the point where young children, uh, little kids, get involved. Kids go missing in the community, <laughs> and, and they're inside of his asshole. Yeah, or yeah. <laughs> it's a, it, we, we never we never show it though we never show we never show it but yeah it does ultimately reveal that they're inside his asshole so then <laughs> so then a det- uh, detective comes along who's like a very cliched like alcoholic detective from every movie ever and they form this weird, they they meet in chance of meeting and it's, it becomes like this cat and mouse game of he's on to him and it's like a back and forth you gotta but, have that that scene from Heat. Uh, dude, oh, we watched Heat so much. There's a diner scene. It's like yeah. a complete homage. Yeah. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Yeah, dude. We get, co- <laughs> we get coffee in a diner, and uh, we talked about Heat a lot, especially with the, the, the detective. Oh, that's so that's great. Fun. But uh, this is it turned out great. It's 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 the weirdest uh, thing I've ever heard in my fucking It's life, fucking weird. It's, it's weird. Well, and it's actually played straighter than a lot of people think. I think a lot of people are going to expect to be uh, just laugh. Like, there's not a lot of jokes in it. But that you're watching this big joke, and by the end, I mean there's jokes in it. There's yeah, yeah, hilarious yeah, yeah. parts, but it's not too like Will Ferrelly. There's not like there's no. It's, it's, it's dead played, serious. It's yeah. just dead serious. And then you constantly have to remind yourself, like, fuck, this is about a guy shoving shit up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the end, you get the ultimate. Like, there's the ultimate fucking. How payoff. far? How payoff. far are you through it? We're done basically. I mean, yeah. we sent it off to sound in like five days. Oh wow! So, so we're, at, we're just like picture tweaking locked. it now. Yeah, we're almost picture locked. Okay. We're just like barely tweaking things, and then we do a month of color while it's in sound, and then we're doing minor CGI stuff too. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, so minor CGI, CGI yeah. stuff for 
a, a, a fucking movie about dude putting oh, stuff Oh, you up have his no ass. idea where it goes, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm, I, if it's anything, I don't want to give away too much because there's a big twist in the middle of it. But I, absolutely, because it breaks into a number. If it's anything <laughs> like it, your, oh, it breaks your, into a number. Yeah. <laughs> If it's anything like your sketches online, like it, it's a little bit more. It's way more than that, though. Because you like, get you get so dark in those things. I so good. Fucking love this, it. This, you know, what's weird though. This is obviously dark. It's about a man putting things up his ass, including children. But uh, it uh, oddly by the end, it like kind of has some heart. You're like, fuck. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. You don't you don't walk out feeling as sick as you would think. You walk out, you're like, huh. <laughs> oh god so we're really happy with it we've we've been working on it non-stop like it's been five four five months of editing now it is, sucks right it's horrible the whole process is horrible it's fun some day some days are like this is great other days are like watch I that i want to do this ever again. that that yeah. rough you know 70 seen them, fucking times ryan and i both everybody working on it has seen it probably two thousand times yeah we watch it a lot just to make sure that you know the only enjoyment you'll get is when you hear people, like an audience watch it, laughing, where you're just like, right. all right, cool, we fucking did it. Yeah. But I told you before we went on, I was like- I remember you said that, and after like the second week of editing, I was like, he was right. <laughs> it's the worst, it's man. It's brutal. Because you just keep watching it, and it's dry. Right. So well, Yeah, you got no sound. You got no, no sound, no, yeah. score, you got no music, no, no nothing. We actually editing. do have the score, though. We you're scored chasing it. chasing the fucking audio levels oh, with yeah. the remote. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. We have a very rough- uh, a rough audio pass on it now, but we're, we're going to have really good sound for it. It becomes somewhat like a Spielberg movie in the end, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, How but, are you releasing? Uh, we when, have you a say, when you say Spielberg movie, which Spielberg movie? Like Schindler's List? No. <laughs> <laughs> Got uh, him right there. That's the first noise he made. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not Schindler's no. List. I would, I would do closer to like maybe E.T.? E.T. maybe, yeah. Hook. Like there's some heartfelt. <laughs> 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 Fucking hook. <laughs> it has a hook vibe. What's right, your favorite Robin Williams, Williams movie? Popeye. Popeye. You know, like, hey, Popeye was like, a good movie. Yeah. Popeye fucking sucks. I hate that movie. <laughs> Come on, the fucking bad guy was a giant octopus. That's yeah, cool. God. Williams hated that movie. Yeah, he did. You know, he killed himself over Mrs. Doubtfire too. Really? Yeah, that was the fucking story that I heard where. He was taking financially care of so many people at that point in his life, and they wanted to do the sequel to, you know, they were about to, sh like, two months away before he killed himself, and he was just like, man, is this where I've, where I've come, that I'm 20 I'm years later, woman, I gotta make fucking yeah. Mrs. Doubtfire too, Because he was on a CBS show with Sarah Michelle Gellar, right. and it was shitty, and it got yeah. canceled, and he felt embarrassed, where he was just like, man... I just got canceled from a fucking ABC show. You know what I heard also that too though. Um, he not to get like too dark, but he was misdiagnosed with something. He had yeah. He was misdiagnosed with Parkinson's and he was on the wrong medication for it. And he was getting like the m misinformation into his brain. It was like he was getting, I guess, a side effect of it is. And he and he has depression and all that. So that on top of it, but he was hallucinating and seeing things that. Uh, Bobcat Goldworth was on Joe Rogan talking about it. Oh, really? And not a lot of people know that. He was his best friend. Yeah. And not a lot of people know that it wasn't just like a straight depression thing. It was like he was misdiagnosed with and on this medication that was actually making him crazy. Fuck. Yeah. That's that's, that's gnarly. That's wild. Yeah, Jared was mix, misdiagnosed with anorexia. Yeah. And, really? um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's just fat as fuck. Yeah, and he just yeah. kept eating. Just kept eating, you know. To this he is a beat it. This he is finally a character, beat it. though. You know how Mac got fat in season seven of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. He did that ten years ago, and he just never came back from it. Right, without a TV show. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Was, you know, I'm prepping. He just yeah. likes to live prepping. dramatically. That's yeah, we all do. Good for you, dude. La so last time you were you were on Ross Patterson Revolution, we talked yeah. about tracking somebody. Uh, oh yeah, yeah to yeah. murder. Yeah, we got. Wait, I have a question before we do that. Yeah, I, because before I forget. On your story the other day, there was a cat. Yeah. Was that a real cat? The frozen cat? Oh, yeah. I, what was that? <laughs> cat meat? Cat meat, yeah. Cat meat in we, Texas? We were there. Was uh, that real? He was there, yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, was it a cat? It, 
Did it turn out? That's what the guy said. He yeah, said he said it was, it was a Venetian. Oh, something. did you not even buy it? Vietnamese cat. No, we bought the fucking cat. Did you eat it? it dude, no. it was $98. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I yeah. saw that. I mean, the price tag was big on that, where I was just like, yeah. holy but shit. And it's then a we, perfect gift to give somebody on their porch. Yeah, so we give we gave it to Matt's dad. He came over that night for a barbecue. So we gave was it to his dad. that just in a store? In yeah. the store, but there was a bunch of fucked up shit in there. Yeah. Like, you go to that meat market a lot. No, I've never been there. Really? I don't, I, I barely go up that way. Is okay. That, Oh, it's up north. It wasn't Cooper's like no, on Broadway no. or anything. No, yeah, it was up, up by Bernie. Locally owned, the dude was like, ah, yeah, let me cut you some fruit fillets like, to- right like, now. Tomahawks, by the way, you want a Vietnamese cat? That yeah. was crazy. I saw one of my friends when I was young. I walked in on him trying to kill a cat. Really? What do you say? How, how was he shit. trying to kill it? Did he, <laughs> I was scared, man. How was he really? trying to kill it? Did he have it tied to a chair? And he, he was, was like, just like strangling it, and then it was that weird. Oh, where, like he got caught, and I was just like, "Whoa, yeah, this is weird. dark." In my I wouldn't even call him a friend. He was like a, an acquaintance. Well, not anymore. I hope. Just, no. <laughs> no, I still, mean, hey. do you wake up that morning like, man, I really want to <laughs> strangle a cat? I think it's in you. I think you just see a yeah, cat. Yeah, it's, it's like, like uh, out, in my mind, I pictured a Reservoir Dog style scene where you had the cat tied up to a chair. Yeah, and, and he cuts off that the song, ear. Cuts off a little cat <laughs> ear. Pops in the cat's lap and cuts his ear off. <laughs> it, felt, it felt like stuck that. in the middle with you. He's just dancing around the cat, oh, slicing it open. <laughs> Dan's killed hundreds of people. It's so true. it's absolutely yeah, true. yeah, yeah. yeah so no, he has nothing. He has yeah. Like a cat to him is fuck, man. It's <laughs> just a quick cat. Yeah, it's like, I shouldn't have even yeah. said anything. It was exactly. exactly. It's like giving that that uh, Gabrielle Sidibe a fucking six inch from Subway. It's not gonna make it. <laughs> it's not gonna make a fucking dent, dude. You know, six inch no chips for somebody like that. It's not gonna make a goddamn dent. <laughs> Killing a cat to Dan. Oh, R- R.I.P. Gabby though. She's alive. Mm. <laughs> not for long. Come on. Uh, or that girl on what is it? This is us. Who's that big girl on on This is Us? I don't know. Yeah, I don't you, you've seen what I'm talking about, right? She's on every red carpet, and they're like, "Oh my god, you're so brave." What Ryan, if you, do you know who that is? What if you? What if your yes. neighbor? What if your neighbor had a small dog and a cat, and you killed the cat, skinned it, and and put the cat's skin over the small dog when it went back home? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean, it actually sounds kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like a little a little Your mink. Neighbor, it's almost like yeah. a little fur coat Your for the dog. Pisses you off, so their dog comes home wearing the cat skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrifying. Your laugh. Like, your laugh. It's just him. Your laugh is making this way scarier. Yard. Like. Stop your animal shit in my yard. <laughs> I just went there. <laughs> He's wearing the skull around his neck. <laughs> Is this little Yorkies plotting around with a cat skin over Inside it? Inside your mind right now? Like, yeah, your enjoyment, the thing of your all enjoyment time. is nuts. Yeah, to the it's rest of the world. It's making it so much darker. Yeah, to the rest of the world. You look like a fucking moron. Right? Like if, you, <laughs> if you were the guy doing it and laughing like that, it's pretty horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you want to murder somebody then? Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh, we talked about this. So you tra- you you followed somebody no, 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 for like eight hours. No, I have no intention hours. of murdering anybody. I just uh, I like the the moments before. <laughs> right before. <laughs> so do you, I, not to bring it up again, but it's always sunny in Philadelphia where they're trying to catch the serial killer. And I don't remember Dennis that episode. I don't remember that episode. So they they follow the the waitress around for like a week. <laughs> So stupid. They're like trying to get inside the mind of a serial killer. Sure. And then all of a sudden they get up to the point where, all right, we've surveilled them. We're here. Now what? And and he's like, what do you mean now what? Oh, and D's like, well, we're not actually going to kill her. He goes, oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. kind of like, I just like the cinematic aspect of like following someone. I don't know. Yeah. Weird. But I haven't did, done it in a long time. Yeah, yeah. But you did it for like, it was eight for hours. For years. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for a long I, one day I did it for a while with a friend in Miami. In Miami, in South Beach. <laughs> it's a good place to track really somebody. Oh funny. yeah, yeah. With a Hawaiian shirt on and a sandwich. In the <laughs> you car. did the you, so you French you, connection style. Yeah, you, know? you you live the character. Yeah, yeah, like you did the whole fucking. Me shit. and my friend were obsessed with doing it, and then you just find out if you just follow people, they just if if you find a sketchy enough person. They live up to how sketchy you think they are. <laughs> <laughs> you see them go. You see them just do things. That it's not illegal to just follow people. No, exactly. No, no you can do whatever you want. By the way, I have no intention of wanting to kill someone. I, I, have, I don't want to kill anybody. Right, but you want to get right up to the edge. I want to get you right there. You don't want to kill yeah. anybody? 
Uh, if you could, I if mean, you, I'm sure there's. Some with, if you could kill, kill someone right now with no consequences. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, no, like zero consequences. Well, I'd I go with I, that I, neighbor's I, cat so I could give it a cat. Dude, stop, God, dude. On that Jesus Yorkie. Christ. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm tired of eating all the cat meat from the cats you kill, okay? I can come up with, just off the top of my head, 12 people right now that I would kill. I probably could, too. I'm just trying to think. They're all people you guys don't know, so it's not going to be. Oh, you don't have no, to no, name that's, names. That's the thing. Yeah, you don't have to name the names. The answer is yes. I'm, I'm the same. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of yeah. Course. Is the answer. If you, uh, so let me ask you this. With, with that girl who smashed that guitar over your head, um... If if the opportunity presented itself, I didn't really want to kill her. No, not that. But you had it. You had an acoustic guitar. No, nothing. You would know. Like nobody would ever find out. Would you smash it on her head and walk out of her house? And just uh, be like, "Hey, we're fucking even now, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would. I, I, I would have put the acoustic guitar up my butt. Oh God, you can be in his next movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Butt Boy Two. We actually have a sequel idea. <laughs> Do you really? <laughs> <laughs> Bud Boy 2 What the fuck Could possibly yeah. be worse than that Well You have to see it But we might even put Like a Marvel Like after the credits There's a scene That leads to it <laughs> <laughs> There's easter eggs in it Yeah there's easter eggs When is this thing Gonna be uh, published um, We don't know yet So we're trying to uh, we're You're doing... going Sundance right You're gonna try that route first No Not but, Sundance But the, the, the midnight Toronto. screenings They do shit like that Toronto we were gonna try Maybe I don't know we'll Okay see. We missed South by Southwest we had an extension on it. We completely missed it. We just it was just we didn't plan it well. So well, if the, you're if you're in it and not to interrupt you, but if you're in it now, by the time you'll have this finished, because like Sunday and submissions are due in August. Yeah, um, we'll definitely submit. I just don't South know by if Southwest it'll... comes back around in yeah. November. Submissions are so yeah, you'd be good for all of that. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so festivals to answer, uh, and then our our goal ultimately is just get a small distribution company. And then we we would love to just get it on to Netflix somehow because that's where it would live and that's kind of what we made it for. Like, right? If it could be on there, just guys like us, stoners, whatever, just men, yeah, would uh, they'd be talking about it? I think if they just found this weird movie on there and that's what happened to me. So like all of those (laughs) fucked up movies I made went to Netflix. And that's where all of that shit really exploded. Yeah, right. that's how Jared f- found out about this asshole. No, no, no. I mean, actually, not, not found out about. The trailer, but yeah. After you, after you guys got in contact, he like watched every fucking movie. Oh yeah, on Netflix. Oh, I had to not buy on Netflix. Them. You bought. Yeah, so I'm about like, to do with all your movies. I've I had been to wanting wait to wait for FDR to come out because the trailer played uh, as a as a recommended trailer after I watched the trailer for God Bless America. Bobcat Goldways movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, that was a good movie. It was a really good movie. It's hard. It's hard to get through, but yeah, it's just brutal. It's it's dark. Which, which part was it's hard great. to get through for you? Him shooting up the the school, with yeah, those, or the end the end. Yeah, that's it. When he just shoots everyone or whatever uh, it is. I, I mean, he starts murdering everybody. Uh, I've seen it. Yeah. yeah, but it's funny. Yeah, but so Netflix is where all this shit took off. Where like FDR, American Badass, Pool Boy, and they were all on there at the same time. So like, and they were coming out like within eight months of each other. And Netflix just kept buying them, and that's where people started to come out of the woodwork of like, oh, fuck. Right. This is the craziest shit of all time. Right. And more people just see it. Yes. Our goal always is just to get it onto there, even if it's like from a weird foreign distribution, like whatever. We just want to get it there. So Yeah. I can't, I can't wait. I mean, it's for me personally. Yeah, where's the premiere? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to do a friends and family. Ryan, when do you, when would we say we're going to do that? Probably at the beginning of May. Yeah, May. Shit. Early May. That's fucking amazing. Wow, you're going through color and sound quick. Yeah, I mean, we've colored a lot of it. We're just, like, going to tweak it. We weirdly colored as we went just to give us the stimulation of it. It's, it's weird, but we shot on a um, on the Alexa where you could just do a bunch of different color stuff. So it's kind of colored already. We're just going to tweak it, and then the we should be good. That's the goal anyway, so. That's awesome. That yeah. Alexa's dope, man. Usually oh, they're yeah. fucking rented out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we have we, somebody who owns one. Ah, uh, yeah, because usually you can't so get them. That was a huge. Uh, it was the, the Alexa Mini too, but it's the same sensor ultimately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Just one? Did you shoot everything with all one? Yeah. Wow, that's so fucking it, hard for an independent movie. Yeah, I, mean, I realized that too. Like, I, I wanted two at by the end of it, but I had th- so we. I, I typically <laughs> use three. Just because you only get what two or three takes. At, yeah. Um, out right. of the shit, so it's like, all right, great. You can't really fuck it up from some angle. Right. I'll have something in the in the edit. There was too. definitely a couple scenes where we could have used more. Uh, the 
we we have a lot of steady cam stuff in it and it, we tried to shoot it like pretty cinematic throughout the whole thing so um it required one camera i guess there's very, a lot of one. very bird box yeah 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 kind of kind of but for assholes yeah like i would say it's asshole, more yeah. i'm trying to think of what to compare it to fincher is a big comparison it's kind of a hybrid of like movie movies you know it's like very pulpy and i don't know do Just, you see any actual buttholes oh yeah dude <laughs> do you have an idea of a count of can I many- tell, maybe I, should i tell him <laughs> the old b count the end i the end says there's such a great reveal but yeah you guys have I'd to save it this is like 4.1 million listeners yeah, yeah save yeah, it because yeah, yeah. the, our, the things you make like Everyone the audience is gonna it, fucking go nuts yeah, for this movie will, yeah because yeah, yeah. there's no comedy man like there's no fucking comedies out i know and getting financing is is next to impossible how'd you get financing for this uh, we had another offer. We had uh, we actually had two people. Him and I shopped it around for a while. Um, we had a whole like pitch together for it, and our Instagram definitely helped in a way. And we weren't asking for that much. We knew we could just make it. How can we just make it with friend, even with friends and people that'll just work for almost nothing, you know? And that's the way we did it. And we just had a couple of offers out there, and then ultimately somebody we knew came in and outbid this other offer we had. Not outbid, but was like, hey, I know you a little better. You could, you'll have more freedom here. So we just went with him, and we took the budget down even more. But it looks it looks way more expensive than it is. I yeah, because I've been following you on, on your Instagram and, like, the behind-the-scenes, like, you know, snapshots you take. I was like, god damn. I mean, one of the scenes looked like it was, like, Chilean miners or something. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it looked great. Like, it looked oh, really thank nice. You. Yeah. Thank you. Because, I mean, even with... You know, a lot of these independent films, you start following your buddies, and, and like they start posting pictures, and you're like, "It looks oh, like dog I, my, shit." It's my nightmare to be Ooh. that guy. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? Like when you're, I when I post stuff, I'm just like, "Oh, am I like that?" Set dude? life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, set we life. hate set life. <laughs> that hashtag is the fucking worst. Thing about it. Hashtag and rise so and grind. Who, yeah. who actually uses that fucking hashtag? To yeah, me, are the ones that are it's on very, a set two days out of a fucking year. <laughs> actor's life. Oh, dude, Actors Live, uh, hashtag Grindfather. Oh, that's I, horrible. I can't, dude. Rise and grind. I can't, that makes I can't me do that one. Hashtag fucking... I got to get to my job at the restaurant. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> that's my actual job. In yeah. L.A., too, it's that it's that Starbucks post that you see at, at one where you're like, that motherfucker just got up and you're like, hashtag oh, rise yeah. and grind. It was like, it's 1 p.m., man. It's fucking 1 p.m. What oh, are you? Yeah, exactly. What are you rising and grinding for? We today? don't hang out with anybody from L.A. All, none of us are from L.A. That's great. I guess where you guys we'll all get along. That's we're why we're, we're all friends. Mates. We're from Pennsylvania. And where then, uh, where we're Pennsylvania? at? Uh, well, I was born in around Pittsburgh, Cranberry. He's born in Pittsburgh. I'm heading then, to Westchester from here. Oh, nice. My, yeah. Fuck yeah. My family's in uh, Lancaster now. Mm. Okay. There's a lot of uh, Mennonites and shit there, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Were you were you one of them? You ever fucked an Amish girl? No, I actually on, on rum there Springer? was one point where I actually wanted to try. There was a very attractive Amish girl. I was like, dude, I should try this. And you didn't fuck her? No, man, that would have yeah. been. I don't oh. know how to talk to them. Rum Springer. I don't know what they know rum and what Springer. they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't that know. is true. Like I don't know. Like, like do wait, you, you know should just start what? making shit up. Yeah, though. were you worried yeah. you were gonna reveal some secret to her and it was gonna ruin the whole? I was just scared of so many things. Hygiene. Oh, There's a, a lot of one, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. In Brett, like she yeah. rolls up to your house in a wagon. Yeah, well, that would have. Like, that's hey. the perk. That's a perk. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I would have loved that. You yeah, take it you down to a bar. Wagon? Would you oh. bang a chick in the back of a wagon? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, a nice wagon fuck. Yeah. Who wouldn't yeah, enjoy that? Whiskey yeah. fox. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna try to fuck an Amish girl, that's where you do it. I don't want to yeah. get splinters. You gotta fuck in a wagon. No, the proper way to fuck an Amish girl is you have to finish helping. You know, put up the giant fucking beam. For their f- new church, and then you do it in the hay pile out back. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> Jesus. And that's really descriptive. The same animal guy coming you know, out. There's yeah. like- <laughs> <laughs> you have to volunteer to help them. Yeah, put up that beam, and then you go to the hay pile. Is there back. Amish porn out there? I bet you I there bet is. Because there there's is. a whole like string of Mormon porn. Is where there really? Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. so yeah. creepy. It's like. <laughs> Elders in the church catching younger Mormon women doing stuff, and then they force them to fuck each other or fuck them. But is that all staged? Is that yeah, just, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah I, mean, I thought you were talking about legit Amish. No, 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 no. no. Well, that's Mormon, but it, it, there's got to be some Amish. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, porn out. I'm gonna go look. Yeah, I'm sure. is that what you can look now? Amish anal three. Yeah, you know, is that is that how you get down? Could like could you full stroke to uh, an Amish porn? 
It depends on the. I, I'm all about storyline, bro. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're a storyline guy. I'm not. Yes. Are no, you? Not at all. No. No. I, I and I'll scroll through too <laughs> and use the cursor so I can you know find oh, yeah. find the right thumbnail to where I need to be. Yeah. Like I don't give a fuck about their their right backstories or, or anything. Else. I do. Uh, he's I want to see their so at, after see sometimes their t- I'll weirdly look up interviews and just try to figure out how dark they are. Like <laughs> oh god, there's like man. I'll just watch a half an hour interview. Yeah, girl I just we've interviewed quite a few porn stars on this show, and they are like Jacqueline Taylor, for example, told us she can't even watch normal porn anymore. Like she watches fucked up shit. Yeah, they, they would have to, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and dude, you remember uh, Russell Brand and Katy Perry? The rumor that they got divorced was because he was in a, like wheelchair porn. Like he's really? seen and done everything in oh, his yeah. life. Oh yeah, there's like, plenty. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was right. gonna say there has to be. Yeah, there's yeah, a bunch yeah, of it. Yeah, hold, is, hold that's that, rule that thirty-four. Camera, right? that Amish, porn. Amish girl, candy Vegas, pray for black dicks. Is there any uh, like? Oh, um, they're praying for black dicks. Yeah, uh, I would imagine there is a Amish big prayer girls element go to anal it. Part yeah. one, time to breed. Oh, you can't breed through the ass. Yeah, you though, can't do you that. Know about that because you're making you can't do that. Honey in the haystack. Yeah, it's all haystack. See, was there? Yeah. Hey, congratulations. No, but at the wheelchair porn with with Russell Brand, he's done so much fucked up shit in his life that I heard that's where he was at, and she was just like, I'm good. I'm talking like rolling over, like taking a chair and rolling it over somebody's like hard dick and balls, like that type of shit. Oh. Like, yeah. He's horrible. And that's anyway. got to that be on really in the bedroom. That is really hard to just get, like, like, how do you get in a position where you could do that? I don't know. I don't either, man. Have you, what's I don't the, like what, him. What's the weirdest thing? Yeah. He's... Got, he's him annoying. and the shaman. He's got a shaman just now. Just fucking annoying. Yeah, it's like, dude, what? Hey, I've got a shaman. <laughs> it's, yeah. No, a traveling shaman. Oh no, is it shaman when you're not supposed to work on Sundays? No, no, that's uh, that's ramen. No, Dave, I don't know what the Dave. Fuck can you get about. me something to throw at him? Yeah, yeah. Not right now. I just mean in general. I want. I always want. I'm talking, I thought here. John Goodman talks about it, and uh, I in love the John Big Goodman. Lebowski. Yeah, Shabbos. Shabbos? No. Shomer Shabbos. Uh, not at all. Uh, What's the weirdest shit like a girl's ever made you do? Oh, God. Um, God, I can't. I don't know if I'm that crazy. Maybe I'm. It's not you. It's the girls. Like, Because I'm not into like, dude, I don't want to shit on anybody. I don't want to. Fucking... I've been peed on. Oh, have you? Yeah. But did, did she tell you first or did was it afterwards? Uh, She told me. I mean, she's like, I'm gonna pee on you right now. And what, how? What? What was but it? Hotter. She sounded uh, hotter when she said it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she didn't say it in a deep voice. How were you hey. positioned? Was she like squatting over you or something? We or were in the shower. Up? Okay. That doesn't like, really count. Yeah, it, it, it does though. I mean, nothing. Was, kind of, I could wait, feel was the it. water running or not? Kinds of counts. Yeah, but it was, I was like away from the water. You were on your back. There was the water. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Well, I was on my back. Like, okay, yeah. that counts. <laughs> I think that might be the weirdest. Does so she like pee on weird. your legs or something? She peed on my face. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't even remember. Stand. She peed Dance. on my neck. So Dan likes to to have his girlfriends watch them get fucked by other dudes. I don't like to watch. I just don't care if they fuck other dudes. But you ask for video. That's crazy. Sometimes, yeah, because if it's hot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, what, that, that's what you get. Is, oh, Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> He's tan. How many times have you done that? A lot. A lot. He's got, he's got some video. Crazy. A lot. A That's lot. crazy. A lot. <laughs> a lot. 21 Savage. Yeah. A lot. Um. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. And you have a, a girlfriend now? No. Oh, no, okay. no, no. Not anymore. But just in general. Like, are you, in fact, into it? Do you just not care? Or do you actually enjoy it? Well, it's a little bit of both. I mean, I don't care about them fucking other people. That part, I'm right. ambivalent about that. But uh, if there's a hot video, I want to see it. Right. Right. It doesn't matter who the two people are. Hot dude. Or two or more Interesting. people. Interesting. Yeah, right. super tan. Has I've never met been? anybody like that. No, I. It, that, he's my fr- the first one too. Really? Has there ever been? I know a bunch of people. Like I that. know you do. You you, you fucked, kill cats. Yeah, you kill cats. I've never killed a cat. You fucked a dude's wife with him in in the bed. So, like, who who asked for that? Did he? Well, okay. So, we were watching UFC, and then UFC was over, and I was drunk, so I was like gonna sleep on the couch. And then he like came back out. He's like, "You want to come sleep in here?" And I'm like, "What in your room?" Yeah, it's weird. What on the floor? Wow. And he was like, "No." And then I walked in, and like she was like naked in lingerie. Really? He was like, have at it. 
No way. Weird. So did he get off? Did he jack off while you were doing that? No. He was on one side. I wow. was on another. And that was just it. That was it. He just wanted to watch. I don't know. Yeah, what do you mean you don't know? I don't maybe it was like a, maybe it was a thing she wanted or something. Like maybe maybe he was in trouble and she was like, You have to invite him back here. No way. I don't know. Was there any That's eye contact twisted. with the he dude? He went to jail shortly after this. Okay, so he wanted it. Yeah, it was yeah, him yeah. who wanted it. Fuck, man. Wait, is what he, he go jail? to jail for? Jail yeah, what do you go to jail no, for? No, 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 he's out. He's so let's out. track him down and interview him and talk about it. Let's call him. Yeah. Let's call uh, him. You know, I, I don't think about you know it. I don't, really, I don't give you know a what fuck what show. you want. I don't care what you want, Jared. This yeah. is going to happen. This is real life. This is going to We called the girl that took his virginity and had her on the show. How was that? It was weird, wasn't it? No. It was Not for you. You don't give a shit, but... Yeah, the girl was just like, I can't believe I'm doing this. And I was like, She actually came on too. You didn't just, or you called her. He did we called her. Yeah, we, we oh, called okay. her on the phone. I don't which state was she living in? Washington. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we Is called that where her. Where you're from, phone. Washington? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got her we got her on and had her describe the experience and all that stuff. And uh like she wasn't like a nice, polite person. So it's strange, man. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Whereas the porn star, when she came on, we started asking her shit. Like porn stars fascinate me. Oh, uh, endlessly. I don't know how. I don't know how. Like it, it, You have to like switch your mind into a different And there's realm. so many of them. Yeah. What do you mean you have to switch your mind? So what do you mean? I don't know. I just mean you're Your moral compass, I guess. Not necessarily a moral compass. When that's your job, Like you're different. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. It I, takes like, away the magic of our, it. Our job is to sit around and fucking talk shit to each other all day. Like that's literally what we do for a yeah. living. Yeah. Right. Sometimes we record it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like if we if none of these cameras are around, we would be having this same conversation and, and enjoying it the whole time. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, what true. you're saying makes no sense to me. I don't know. Banging don't for know. work and you're like, get home and like, I want to bang again. Let's do this. That's or how what I feel if you're about fucking it. chafed? You know. No, I, I understand it. My, but, well, and you, this is weird for you, but relationships must be weird. I mean, you. I'm you, sure they're weird. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, she said she. So the, the last one we had on the show, she was dating another porn star, and I was like, "What's it like after you guys finish?" Great like, question. A day banging a day of fucking banging. Both of you guys are on, you know, and it's just like, uh, just another like, day of the job. And she's like, "I'm fucking exhausted. My pussy stretched out," is what she said. God. She goes, "My pussy stretched out. I just want to watch like Friends on Netflix, and like I don't want to be fucked by him." And vice versa, and it's just like yeah. But what if like so? What do you do? Yeah, where it's like they they can't even watch Friends; they have to watch like Teletubbies. (laughs) Yeah, what? Just can't. Yeah, it's just like it's like they can't they 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 can't get you know stimulus stimulus stimulated. Yeah, learn fucking words. So they have to watch children's shows. (laughs) Can we can we get a, a hashtag do better? Yeah, we can. Campaign for this fucking piece of shit. Hashtag over here. do better. Oh, come on. I'm doing just fine. You're like a, one of those children that M- Michelle Obama was trying to help, like, just get educated. Yeah, you're terrible. Yeah, you're a horrible human being. I'm, I'm on the up and up. <laughs> you're not. You're not on the right path <laughs> on at the all. Rise. I'm on a laser path. Dude, we to so. Longevity. We got fucked up. It was his birthday last night. And then we ended oh, up happy in birthday. Jumbo's clown Thank room. You, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been there. Yeah. So we, whenever place. you end up at Jumbo's, it's just like, hey. We closed the night on a tranny. Was it? You don't remember that? No. You were like, that is a guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I was, po- I was positive that was a dude yeah. post-stop. I mean, was, probably. It, I mean, you were He was there. like 6'6". Six, six. We were just like, that's not, yeah. that's not a fucking thing. Did you guys have fun there? We had a good time. The, yeah, the problem was this. Like it was when packed. You, well, no, I don't. I don't give a fuck about that. The problem is, is like I went to get cash, you know, from the bartender. Of like, hey, I want to throw some ones up on the stage, or whatever. Gives me like fucking tw- all twenties. I was like, dude, none of these girls are worth twenties. Like, I'm not Drake. For right. Christ, like I'm not. Yeah. You know, just gonna throw a wad of twenties at Jumbo's you, clown. You know room. what though? Those girls are making more money than any any strippers I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's crazy. Because yeah, there's like a touristy thing to it too, or you know, it's like a it's a place to go. Every more so every than girl is sweeping sixty five to a hundred once. Yeah. off that fucking yeah, it's a great gig. That stage every time. And then they click their heels on the rail, and that's like the symbol for pay me. Which I didn't know, and oh, I was yeah. like, "Oh, all right." How'd you find that out? Because uh, like the by the third or fourth dancer, oh, they were all doing the same it. thing, yeah. and I was like, "I mean, it was kind of like nailing horseshoes into a fucking, you know, Kentucky right. Derby horse." Where you're just like, "All right, I, I guess now it's time to 
to run, you know? Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to run for the roses. The walk away is always weird, too, when you leave. Yeah. Dance. <laughs> That's weird. Well, would it be weird if uh, <laughs> if all the strippers had hooch? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so this, this, is, this is something we discussed yesterday, right? Oh, this is something that he could take and run with. Dude. <laughs> yeah, so we, is... we want to create an, uh, like a network that shows movies, but it takes all of the famous people, like Fast and Furious, but replace them Vin Diesel's head with Hooch from, from Turner, Turner and Hooch. Oh, that would yeah. be great. And so it's like Paul Walker driving away and he looks over at Vin yeah, Diesel. Yeah, that's a great scene But for it's it. Hooch, you know? <laughs> you hooch got is Hooch. Back. Yeah. yeah, and then it's just, you got Hooch. That's great. But then do that to, it's just a 24-hour channel of oh, God. swapping you out everybody's head. You guys have figured on, where he was wearing the deer carcass? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best. That ended his career, that movie. There's what, so the movie many did? scenes yeah. you can do that with. But hey, I, I've got. Don't you guys believe that Tom Green invented reality TV? <coughs> Show me something before that that was un, unscripted reality. Hmm. Tom Green invented reality TV. This is my. Was he my before Apotheosis? Uh, was he wasn't before the Road real world? Rules. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he was. The Tom Green real show world. came out before the all one of in that. Canada was on for before for a long real time. Yeah, yeah. MTV picked it up before Real World Road Rules. Any of that? Yeah, man. And I, it was I right. Know, after I don't know about that, MTV. The MTV because MTV I think was the first to do reality. And then there was like those two years where everybody bitched about MTV's just gone to these reality shows, you know, oh, yeah, 16, right. and, that. 16 and pregnant and all that bullshit. And then all of a sudden, every network, you know, that's when you had Survivor. Was oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the fucking OGs in the yeah. reality that game. That was huge. Yeah, that, just the, the, the first season of Survivor, Survivor, you watched that, right? Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. And you were yeah. like, no way. They're what yeah. if you did all Richard night? Richard Hatch. That was great Island TV. competing? Like, what? this was blowing our minds. Yeah, it was crazy. What yeah. if you had took all seasons of that show and replaced Richard Hatch with Hooch? With Hooch, yeah. dude. <laughs> you got Hooched. You got fucking Hooched. You're off the island. <laughs> <laughs> I think you, you guys should do that. I'd love to. I really want to. Are you dating anybody right now? Yeah. Uh, does she make you watch What's The Bachelor? Name? Uh, she oh. watches The Bachelor, but no, she doesn't make me watch. Okay, it. yeah, my wife makes me. But watch But I, I heard all about it. The Bachelor, yeah, yeah, and that's one of those things. Why do where, girls like that? You know, because why would girls want to compete? Because it's it, chaos. It, no, it, to it, date it, somebody. No, there's it's, it's actually entertaining in some part. There's there's a lot of comedy in it. Well, here's what strikes me. Because again, like I have to watch this shit with her. Um, they're on these dates, but they're in like you know traveling to islands, doing the coolest shit on the planet. Right. Homeboy's got a fucking one bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. once this is that. all, because none of these relationships ever last. I think only two couples out of dude. They buy the ring for him. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Neil Lane, and he pops out, and he's like, "Hey, a diamond me. is forever." It's yeah. me, Neil Lane. It, it, like it, yeah. it's really him on the show, and he'll be like, "That's a nice cut. It's a that's a snow's cut you just picked out, or whatever yeah. the fuck it is." And it's just like, is there such thing as snow's cut? No, that's uh, what I. I was gonna say, man. I call my I've never heard of that. I've watched a lot. I've watched a lot of The Bachelor. Yeah. So earlier and earlier. here's my theory with all that shit, right? They're in like, you know, all these exotic locations. Then they get back to real life. The chick's like a bartender who won. The other dude has some shitty job. And then they're in a one bedroom apartment and they're not doing all that cool shit anymore. And then it's just like, oh, well, fuck. This is this is it. This is our life. Now we got to go get a job somewhere. Like, right. what do you do after that? That's why they all get divorced. Yeah, none and of them shit. do anything. No. Yeah. No, and they're all coming back, like they circle back to The Bachelor and try to do the, you know, Paradise Island or whatever the fuck it is. I heard that's entertaining though too. It is. There's a lot of great cringe you know what was moments. Better than yeah. The Bachelor was the one with the guy that wears the clock. Oh yeah, Flavor oh, Flav. Oh, Flav. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great show. Yeah, because uh, and then that girl in New York. That guy's so it. weird, man. Oh my god. You know Rock of Love or uh, yeah, yeah. I, with, wa I watched that with too. Brett Michaels. Yeah. Oh, Bro, weird shit. That was. I yeah. mean, holy shit, holy shit! And I and you, when I watched that, I thought it was fake. Um, I don't know if I should be telling this fucking story. Yeah, fuck it. Um, uh, I thought it was fake. I thought all that shit was fake, and like those girls weren't that crazy or whatever, right? We go out to Vegas for a buddy of mine's bachelor party, and we're down at the pool, and he spots one of the girls from Rock of Love, and he's just like, "Dude, I bet you we can get this fucking girl to party. She's crazy on the show, or whatever." And I was like, "Probably a front, you know." Cut to. No less than two, three hours later, she's she's up in the room doing coke off my buddy's nutsack. And, I mean, we were out of the pool all day. 
Like it was unwashed, un you know. No, I mean if you're in the pool all day, that's pretty washed. No, it's not a clean yeah, nut sack at that point. Yeah, chlorine, I mean, chlorine feels. But clean. you're sweaty. Yeah. It wasn't like he was in the pool the entire time, you yeah, know. Like but. he's running around, and I was like, oh fuck, these girls really are this goddamn crazy. Oh like, yeah, in that world, they're always like that. I I just I thought it was a fr- I I for sure thought it was a fucking front, and then sure enough, dude, boom, she's doing ripping rails off a of nut. Dude, sack. I weirdly worked for Kiss. Years ago, shut the fuck up. I had so I like Kiss is a weirdly I I don't like Kiss at all. I think I've seen them live a weird amount of times, and they're just weirdly <laughs> always a part of my life, and I don't want them to be. But uh, <laughs> but I they would fly me out to Vegas. I would like uh, Kiss. I had to sell this giant Kiss book at one point. I was just doing weird shit for Kiss, <laughs> and those girls like, I mean, it's crazy. Even crazy for those for guys, yeah. It's crazy. I like I was with Motley Crue and all those guys and it's just there's a lot of nut sacks and cocaine. Crazy all man. the time. I stretching. So they bring their own their own clothespins in a baggie yeah. to stretch, stretch the that sack out. Hey, what if we Get did it? like a, a flavor of love or, or whatever flavor of flavor show but for Gary Busey? Ugh, oh god. my god! That but would he be was the greatest on one. thing on television. Was it? Oh, he, that's right. He was, he was on, on the, the Big Brother. Weight, yeah, or, or the weight loss one. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was on, on, he was he on was one of those. he was great on it. it uh, he was, was so out of fucking his fucking funny. mind. Dude, a c- competitive dating show for, with Gary Busey would be probably some of the best show with Gary television. Television. Anything with Gary Busey would just be uh, great. Yeah, 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 <laughs> my, my one role for Gary Busey is what I've always wanted. I found it's the USS Ling. It's out in, uh, uh, in New Jersey. In Hackensack, New Jersey. Wait, are you trying to get us to buy a fucking battleship again? No, no, no it's, a su- it's a World War II submarine. Okay. They said they would give it to me for 10 days for $1,000. And filming a World War II submarine movie, I mean, you need maybe three lights, one camera right. inside that thing. And I, I wanted Gary Busey to play our cook. Oh, that would be so good. Like, no, and then you don't. just cut to 1950s stock footage of submarines. So. Everything takes place in the submarine. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I understand. Remember, it. we talked about this. Yes, he but said, the, the, uh, and it's great. We would get the, the, the problem kill on with YouTube. Gary Busey. I did a movie with him. Y- you can't get through a- an hour of shooting. Like, he shut down production for like four days. What was he doing? It was like 2001, I did this movie. And at that time, Gary B- Busey was still like the fucking dude. A lot um, of cigars. Yeah. I mean, he was getting his quote was, I, I remember it was for an independent film. His quote was twenty five thousand dollars a day, and I was like, "Fuck, man!" Wow, it was a lot of money. Um, I wonder what it is now. Eight, Someone should $8. put him in a fucking Marvel movie as the lead. You can't yeah. control. I know, the guy. but that I would be so good. Him. He's got to be getting up there too. Yeah, he's got to be. I would say what late sixties. I don't know. Probably mid mid to late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he's got to be late sixties, but you couldn't sh- you couldn't shoot anything with him. Like it would no. fuck up your entire production. Did you guys have anybody famous in your movie? Uh, no, not really. That's that's one thing that we're like a little concerned about. But for sales, yeah, yeah. But you know, Hollywood always tells you to have that names for overseas yeah. and all yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, we don't. Yeah, we thought Could about you trying green screen hooch. We try. What was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. that'd be good. We've got the dog from Turner and Hooch in the movie. Oh my god! Thirty. <laughs> Put years him on later. the poster. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> we were gonna try to get Henry Rollins at one point. We were really gonna try for the for a police chief. Oh man, there's a police chief in it. It was kind of like great. a hard ass. I, I, I did a movie with Henry Rollins. Um, ironically, cool? Gene Simmons was in it. Oh, don't bring um, him up. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst fucking human being He's of all. One time. of the worst of all time. Um, the Gene Simmons story I have was everybody was excited to party with him. Like, oh, he's fucking crazy. It's going to be an awesome. Is he crazy? But he, so here's the thing. It's going to be an awesome night. The head of the studio flew down and was like, dude, I got a limo for Gene. We're all going to take ecstasy. It's going to be the greatest night of our fucking lives, dude. Strip club. I know the owner. It's going to be amazing. I already know this isn't happening. Wait. So he comes down to the lobby. We get in the fucking limo. Uh, we go there. It's, it's maybe a two minute ride to the strip club, right? We're in the in the fucking thing with him. We we pull up to the strip club. Gene gets out. He walks up uh, in, inside and he goes, I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take you. Let's get the fuck out of here. Took the limo. Never saw Gene again, dude. It's kind of great, though. <laughs> yeah, kind of what you up. want. <laughs> he's just a yeah. cocksucker. Oh, yeah. He took the limo. No, like, he doesn't try to hide it. This is before Ubers, too. So, like, we had to call yeah, taxis. 
We had to get like eight taxis. different taxis to get us back. Taxis. We're in the middle, you know, we're at some fucking strip club in, in Austin. And it was just like, oof. He was he was just a dick. Yeah. He Everybody owns wanted it, to take he pictures with the it. tongue out, and he was just like, no. Yeah. No. Fuck you. I was with my ex girlfriend at one point in Vegas, and he like grabbed my ex girlfriend and just goes, oh, I'm going to come Shit. right in front of me. <laughs> what do you I, say I to that? Like, uh, I was just like this. I didn't. I don't even remember what I said. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Wow, really? I would have caved his head in. Creepy, <laughs> weirdo. That's You're rad. Old. Though. That's a boss move. I think I laughed. I, I think it's a boss. But move. Then I thought about it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> over and over and over yeah. again. That would be a great sketch for Tiny Cinema. Yeah. I'm like just thinking think about j- Gene Simmons telling your girlfriend that he's going to And then he drives God. over to his yard, kills his cat, wraps it around his yard. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. Was Here there- comes the Yorkie. <laughs> Was and then he goes back and finds <laughs> every picture of Gene Simmons ever and puts Hooch's face on. <laughs> yeah. There's a dog. Yeah. God hey, damn it. Oh. What, what is going on here? Hey, there Xander. There you go, man. There you go. What's that? Oh, yeah. Are you still rolling on Fuck, that, Ryan? We're rolling, Xander. Cut it for the end. Yeah, yeah. So long. Hey, Xander, the dog's in the shot. You might as well come in and just grab the fucking dog at this point. <laughs> is this your dog? It's not a bad boy. Is it a girl or a boy? Uh, it's a boy. Both. This is this is live podcasting right here. You know, a fucking pit bull just. Is there rolls. a restroom right there? I have to pee really bad. Can I pee real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Fuck it. It's BRB. drinking, bros. It's drinking, bros. There's one right there. Go down there on your left. I say we cut that dog's head off and put Hooch's head on it, dude. Yeah, just green screen it, not like physically cut it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just we'll just digitally we'll just digitally thing. digitally add Hooch's head. To, to everything we do. Oh, man. So let's get back to this cat jacket. <laughs> oh, God. I'm serious. Would you fucking How stop? fucking funny would this be? A little Yorkie walking around with a fucking cat. God damn it. You really want a cat jacket. <laughs> I mean, I think it's so ridiculous. You come to get your dog at your door and it's wearing your cat. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever fucking shoot, shoot cats or nah, kill cats nah, or do any of that I, shit I as a kid? No. I used to throw frogs up in the air and hit them with an aluminum baseball bat. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, I think I used to run over him with a bike in Florida. There was a lot of, uh, it was a year that I lived in Florida, and I used to run over him with a fucking bike. Used to shoot birds. I don't, I don't even know, yeah, 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 I don't even know anybody that ever was, like, super into killing weird, like, animals. Um, but, yeah, like, if you had a BB gun, you definitely would shoot at a bird. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've, I don't think I ever took one out. Like, my dad taught me to shoot when I was a kid. So, oh, really? Yeah, so... I, I was murdering birds all over the place. Uh, was no there shit. not like was cats there a, uh, and squirrels too? I, I was there a pussy in the bathroom? No, not that I could say. Oh, well, good, good. Nobody Story left their in my pussy. life. I missed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a reference to video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me ask you. I how, forgot about that. How high were you when you fucking wrote that? Ryan, you wrote that one with me, right? Uh, we weren't high. I don't that think. is my. That's <laughs> another favorite. Stone sober. The pussy in the no, bathroom. The, the, uh, you left your pussy in the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> was there any sketch that was too fucked up? Oh, dude. <laughs> that you I just said. That that you I just can't said. even say. Yeah. Hey, we 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 can't do this. Yeah, we have a bunch of. We just wrote thirty new ones because we we're about to do thirty of them. Holy and, shit! Yeah, and there's there was a few that just couldn't we couldn't do. We there was one movie we couldn't make. Uh, Trans Frank. Yeah. Um, uh, Trans right. Frank versus <laughs> Nazi it. zombies. Uh, the, the poster, the poster's done. It's on my Instagram. Yeah. So and, it's and Frank realizes that there's this Nazi zombie invasion, and she can't fight back because she's a, a little girl. As a little girl, she starts some some injections. Yeah. yeah. So they've they they completely. It's basically Captain America. Yeah. But, but but there's a gender reassignment that happens. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's this there's this one the, the only. Do you guys have a script for this? Little uh, little orphan tranny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what what happens is there's one scientist left who's still alive, and and it's hey man, it's do or die. You've got to fucking trans Frank her. Wasn't I the brother? 
to save that. Yeah, yeah. You were, was her, you were, he was Anne Frank's brother, who was just loud. Jeremy. Like, super loud and annoying. And it's just like, God damn it, man. Always eating, like, <laughs> Jeremy chips. Frank. I was, I was already, yeah. yeah, I was <laughs> eating, I was eating Doritos, you know, something not from the 1940s. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Do you guys ever watch? Oh, sorry, finish first, then I'll go. No, into no, that it. was it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was just eating. But he was I, the, he, like super loud and just over everything. Of like, man, I don't care if we get caught. Be caught. quiet, Trans Frank. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys yeah, watch yeah. the uh, on YouTube? There's this guy who does. He opens like the old rations, the MRE. Oh things. yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen I that. love that guy. He's yeah, such funny. a character, man. He is a very weird person. He's so weird. Yeah. We quote him all the time, dude. We watch that like on. Have you guys seen this? Thing. Yeah, he opens like K rats. You guys no hiss. He was opens again. No hiss. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Weird, dude. Man, My buddy, really... shout out to Austin. Austin Lewis. Yeah. It's really, shout out to him. You really you hang man. out with Larry. You've hung out with Larry the Enticer. Do you watch that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to send it. He's no, in the full denim, and no. he's, he's on a snowmobile. It's Canadian. No. Canadian snowmobile. guy. No. Mullet. Just going to fucking give her. Sounds great, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All he does is jump off shit and s- smash up uh, snowmobiles. No, it sounds great. <laughs> it's basically uh, what's the name of that fucking movie? Which oh, one? Shit, it's raining. I mean, yeah, 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 it's pouring the in Canadian, L.A. The Canadian one. Get a shot of the rain, oh, right? Uh, fucking damn, man, I forgot. The Why don't we always forget the name I of this know. movie? Uh, Fubar. Fubar. Yeah. Oh, Fubar is a have great movie. No, I haven't. Dude, I heard God, about you have to it, buy it. You, like, yeah, you, you can't, can't. You can't stream it. Anywhere. Stream it. You got to fucking physically order the DVD. But yep. it's worth every. Penny of watching them. Really? Movie. I mean, the opening scene. Do you like Trailer Park Boys? Oh yeah, yeah. So I, fucking. Have you ever oh, seen yes. Run Ronnie Run? Uh, oh yeah. It's like a combo. It was between stolen. Two Run, things. Run Ronnie Run was stolen from Fubar and made in the United States. Yeah, really? like I mean, it, it opens up like they're in a party in a house, and I think he takes a fucking chainsaw to the living room, like <laughs> just the living room wall. And you're like, fuck. I like production wise. All I kept thinking was how much money all that shit was, and I'm like, yeah, God that's... damn it! And it just escalates. It's just about two. Canadian fucking metal rockers that just drink tons of beer and fuck shit up. That's it. Like, Sounds great. Yeah. yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, they're just, I'm gonna order it. Yeah, one uh, one gets cancer and he doesn't want to go to the doctor, so like they make him go to the doctor and then they accidentally kill their friend. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so fuck. What year was that? Like uh, ninety nine or 90? yeah. 99. I always thought it was in it the eighties. It was 80s so for some popular they made a sequel. Yeah, there's yeah. Like Fubar, Fubar two. two. So, yeah, Why you, do you have to order it? Is there a reason? I don't, just... I don't know. Nobody. I think it's the it. distributor. Yeah. yeah. Um, they do. They do a bunch of weird. But when shit. you watch it, you'll see. I seriously think Canada put this film out. <laughs> Somebody saw it and wrote "Run, Ronnie, Run" based off of Fubar, thinking that no one would ever see Fubar. I could see that. Yeah. Don't a lot of people can uh, compare Run Runny Run to Joe Dirt? Yeah, but yes. Run Runny Run was first, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Joe was Dirt old. stole from that. That's yeah, what yeah, I always yeah. heard. What what's what what are the movies you working on? Uh are you, have you guys started writing a, a new script? We have scripts? a bu- yeah, we have a bunch. We we're, we're actually trying to get a um a TV pitch together to kind of um uh, just extend what we're doing on Instagram but in larger format. So like twelve minute episodes, so like for like adult swim? Yeah, Adult Swimmy, or like even if we could do like an anthology kind of thing, we're gonna be like two 12 minute episodes in one, right? Where they're completely different, but literally what we're doing on Instagram with bigger production value and uh, just longer versions of it. So, like, you know, take any of them and just expand it, which we think is funnier when you make it almost like a movie. Yeah, it feels like a little short film. Well, the when you go super dark like that for 12 minutes, I mean, yeah. it really. There's some that have an legs audience. and then some that don't. Yeah, some but it you works know what? for. The, the, I would say that there's an audience that is being groomed for this style of humor now after um, uh, the Netflix series that always Black ends Mirror. really for Black Mirror. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah people are now like a like funnier going, version hey, of that. Yeah. Don't end happy. I want to see <laughs> fucked up shit. Yeah, it's happen. weird, man. Uh, we we've been talking about this a lot lately, but there's no more real comedy being made by right. major production companies. Yeah, yeah. It's Agreed. Just shit. No, there's like, no studio. It's like studio comedies. Yeah, it's, it's dead now. Yeah. Yeah. But you, Black Mirror, that's a big studio production. So why can't you do a dark comedy like that? I exactly. think because comedy is in such a place now where you're worried about offending people and yeah, I mean, but Black I'm, Mirror, I guarantee the first you, fucking you'll hear episode. It. You're fucking oh, a pig. Yeah. The first yeah. episode of Black Mirror, the dude. Prime Minister of England has to fuck a pig on live television. Yeah. But it's passed off as a drama. So, like, with you guys, did you, 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 you get any kickback on any of your shit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been, on Instagram, we've been, we've had shit taken down and all of that. So. Really? Yeah. The one where I uh, have sex with a dead girl. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got taken down. You keep putting that back up though. Oh yeah, I love that one. Why is that? Why is that the line? Yeah, yeah, why is that the line? But then there's some like well, uh, I don't know. There's some that are surprisingly horrible and don't get reported. So I don't know. Uh, have you ever heard uh, feedback from like uh, like a celebrity who's like, dude, what the fuck, man? I mean, like we get we get a we get like C people. Who are they? Me. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh yeah, Jerry Seinfeld's wife went off. We had like a little bit of a battle at one point. Nice. Which one pissed her off? Uh, something with cum. I don't know. <laughs> just like this is not comedy or whatever. Or were you uh, like, uh, fuck off. We've just had we've had a bunch of like people you wouldn't expect. Like people they're not even names you would know. But like the, like the kid from Peter Pan hit me up. He's like, <laughs> like which Peter? Years Pan? later, I don't even know. Pan was he Pan? Maybe, was he Pan? Know. Was it Rufio? It was Pan. Oh, it was Pan yeah. himself. Was it, it Rufio? Was oh fuck. Yeah. That's that's look. It's Peter Pan. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to Pan. think who else. You've made it. We do have a uh, in in Butt Boy. We have she's not like a celebrity or anything. Well, I guess she kind of is. But um, Angela Jones from Pulp Fiction is in it. The cab driver. Oh Pulp yeah, Fiction. really? She plays the one of the doctors in it. That's fucking cool. Yeah. What was her story? Uh, I've known. Is that her a real for, accent? No. Oh, it wasn't. In Pulp her Fiction, her story's crazy. Uh, she was in a short film that Tarantino saw, and he like called her. At, at school, she was still at like FSU. Called her dorm room and was like, "Hey, I Shut saw the this. Fuck up! I want you to be in my movie in Center Pulp Fiction." She moved out here and has been here ever since. Wow, that's a crazy story. Yeah, she's great. She's super nice. That's wild, man. Yeah. Fuck, that shit never happens anymore. No. Yeah, I saw your I, short fi- student I film. I love that though. I love stories like that. Same, but it just doesn't fucking that's happen. Short films are kind of like you know. We always say. There's only so much. I, I say that, but we just had a friend who won. Uh, she was in the short that won the Oscar this year. But besides that, festivals and stuff aren't as big as they used to be for short films, I find. Like, cause there's so much shit online. Right. And nobody wants to, to go to a festival and pay to watch short films. Exactly. Where you're just like, bro, stick it on fucking YouTube. Like, exactly. I, I think there's some weird shit going on right now where it used to be where all these smaller indie things would be like a minor league system basically for major yeah, yeah 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 and now there's there's like this dichotomy going on so the indie film people aren't willing to suck as much dick to get those major productions now because they know they can take their content right. straight out yeah and yeah. the major production companies haven't realized it yet yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so there's like all this talent that's just out and and what the major Production companies and publication companies don't realize is they're fucking themselves. 10, 15 years from now, they're going to be fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're for not sure. even, I don't know how, what they're going to They're going to own a bunch of IP, and that's it. Yeah. Just right. like the record company. Are you a you know I mean? Film Riot fan? Uh, yeah, I used to watch a lot of Film Riot. Um, did you ever watch the projects that they did? Like, uh, like I would, I think within was, their tutorial. Yeah, I, I probably have. Like, a few, I would go off and watch. Like, the, they did their, that, that uh, horror, horror short over the weekend called Tell. I, don't, I would. I would oh, remember. That was it. brilliant. But they They're took great. like all their episodes where they were teaching you stuff, and then applied them to, to the, make yeah, this yeah, short. Yeah, they always have their, their intro, and then they'll go to a short. Yeah, yeah. they great. I've le- I learned a lot from them actually. I you, buy a lot of their digital products too. Yeah, like their their music packs and color packs and LUTs and things like that. Yeah, I haven't watched them in quite a while. I'm sure we watched them a few times while editing because there's always like little things you're like, I forget how to do that, and then yeah, you pull it up film. Yeah, right you pull a film right to learn. I would love. I would love to get that guy. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Right Ryan yeah. Conley. That's yeah, his name. Ryan Conley. I only remember that because I went to school with a guy named Ryan Conley. Yeah, was how was he? Of, Sounds like a dick. I'm he's, a, he's all right. <laughs> Works in a bank. Now he does. Yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Boy. That doesn't. Sound he's a good fun guy though. Good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is he fuck tough? I don't know. <laughs> so Ross <laughs> is working on an uh, '80s power ballad. Yeah. Called "Fuck Tough." Like fuck tough. Bon Jovi fuck style. Fuck tough. Yeah. Don't you want me to breathe on fuck tough? Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a version? Have you recorded it yet? Uh, I've got all the lyrics written. No, he actually got distracted because he started mm, a business shoes. Lab oh, yeah, last we, week called business shoes. Yeah, so we recorded. Well, the Pussy Whistle song came out. Yep, yep. Before that, that was uh, the Cheddar Bay Biscuits, red, the Red Lobster rap song that and came getting out. Getting high, eating Cheddar Bay Biscuits, a Red, red Lobster, Lobster motherfucker. motherfucker. Um, so we did I that. I saw that. Yeah. I love that one. Yeah, I yeah, saw that, that one's so dope. good. Big I'm trying to think. So I always good. follow your Instagram. There's other shit I saw. I was laughing. I'm trying to remember some. 
It's, I've I put the weirdest shit on there. Yeah, I love it. Because like late at night, I'll just drop like a bunch of weird and impressions and shit. That's like, when it all comes. Well, now to, that we've well, discovered- just to do it to fuck with other people. So I, I used to do this thing. Uh, Morgan Freeman knows you're high. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, so I'll yeah. just post those super late. You haven't at night been doing Freeman people. Fridays either. No. Well, and now that you've got the face app, we got a like- Morgan Freeman impersonator for one of our sketches. Uh, the caveman one. Did you guys ever see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was good too. I love dropping those Freemans, dude. Oh yeah, everyone. The Freeman loves Fridays, Freeman. though. The videos, it's tough because I feel like they go viral so fast. Yeah. By the time you catch up to it, you're like everybody's seen the video, yeah. and you're like, all right, cool. I did it for about a year though. Every yeah, Friday, you were pretty f- consistent for for, for a, while, a year, man. yeah. But then you start to, you know, people were posting now shit we're, so we're fast. Really shifting in like fucked up commercials. <laughs> 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 like just fucked up like there our next one is straight dave's shirtless wrestling camp oh yeah he's definitely straight did you see hydration mayonnaise <laughs> no uh hydration mayonnaise was a good one thank you thank you um, is that you uh that was heaven hydration mayonnaise yeah so it's just it's uh, uh mayonnaise that keeps you hydrated so <laughs> just, it's, uh, it's a sports drink that really sports. is just mayonnaise <laughs> Comes yeah. in two flavors. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's freshwater carp. Yeah, oh. and cotton candy. <laughs> Who was the gay cowboy one? Which that one? was Matt Schnitzel oh, Grams. Yeah, Schnitzel Grams. <laughs> <laughs> it's where if you have bad news to tell someone, then you and hire he's him. A, he's a you know, I'm a, a real cowboy, <laughs> real American cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this one called Little Pussy Monster, where uh, <laughs> like when you're when you're tired of. Like guys are tired of going down their wife or they're grossed out. You literally order this guy who comes, and he's a fucking scummiest dude ever. He just eats your, he just eats your wife out. But we're doing it like testimonials. Like, yeah, it's great. He's great. He's good. They're giving great reviews for him. <laughs> That's one of the thirty. I love the one where the 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 girl has has the guy inside her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God, yeah. that's good. It's like the female butt boy. <laughs> yeah. Help! I'm inside her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear that. yeah. <laughs> help me! Help me, dude! If you're not following Tiny Cinema on Instagram, it yeah. is the greatest account of all time. Well, thank you guys. Uh, we have new stuff funny, coming man. out too. A lot of people are because we've been doing the movie are wanting us to put out more shit. So we're about to. That's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, I look on Drinking Bros. This is the point where we get to the drinking bro of the week. Um, so somebody that inspired you, maybe a filmmaker, somebody you looked up to, who was the dude that kind of helped you or shape or mold who you are today as a writer director? Uh, I have so many, I mean, mainly I would say, and I just find him fascinating as a, a character is Tarantino yeah. as, as like a, outside of being a director and writer, just as a character, a human that exists on this planet, he fascinates me and is so funny. Have you met Every, him? No, I've never met him. I I don't know what I would do. I yeah, I haven't met him either, man. I that's that's one where I'm like, fuck, I'd yeah. love to. Um I'm just a giant fan too. I love his movies. I just think they're funny. Same. Uh, dude, the then I just the trailer just dropped for the new one yesterday. Oh yeah. I've watched it a lot of times. The the end with DiCaprio, and that little girl oh, that little, yeah. whispers in great his ear. Note. Yeah, yeah. Great and, note. Oh, he's crying. It's gonna get dark. That's a great <laughs> fucking note. Oh yeah, yeah. It's gonna get real fucking dark. Yeah, we're we're obsessed with it. But yeah, I would say him. We have a big cut out of him where we work in the office we work in. Well, my big. my wife met him and she said like they were all at a just some normal fucking restaurant, right? And this some you know one of the girls she was with just fanned out was just like QT QT. Could you come over and fucking drink with us? And everybody at the table's like, oh, God. Oh, God. And he just rolled over and fucking raged with everybody for yeah. like an hour. And that's like, he loves it. Yeah. He yeah. loves being Quentin Tarantino. He's fun, man. He's fun. And yeah. If you, if you guys are ever, if you go down a Tarantino wormhole, I always tell people this. He did this thing on VH1 with Fiona Apple. It was the artist on artist documentary. Yeah. I watched it, dude. dude and they were that, walking around Aust- dude, Austin, Texas. That is one of the funniest documentaries, just as far as like watching a character. Like you see him unfiltered and like he was sweating the entire time. Oh, dude, he's so cringe. And the I, whole thing. I thought I, I was like, man, how much coke was he on? I don't how think he's on fucking... any man. I have a theory. He just has high energy like that. He's just a fucking maniac in the best way. Maybe. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if, I, he probably if he's does crushing cocaine a pound too, a week. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that Austin doc, like when I watched it, he's sweating profusely. Oh yeah, the he's drenched. Time. Yeah, and it, and him talking to Fiona Apple and having those strange he's like conversations. He's kind of in love with her a little bit. Yeah, There's all yeah, these yeah. like undertones <laughs> of like. Yeah. Uh, it's great though. I love him. I love him. I, I just find myself watching interviews of him because 
my dream movie, and we always talk about this, is uh, uh, you know, down the line, is to make a movie about Quentin Tarantino. That would be a dream. That'd be dope. Like a, later, like a way later in life, like, like a biopic, like a, bi- a biopic. Oh, yeah. Okay, so not like like being, an actor would play him. Not like yeah. being, not like being John Malkovich, where he's just no, like, but that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine being Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> no, as a fucking movie. Be, yeah, be great. Jesus yeah. Christ, man. would be so good. Yeah. Well, hey. Thanks for being here, man. Thank you guys so much. This was fun. Uh, Looking forward to Butt Boy. Yeah. That's like the only comedy I'm looking forward to. So We'll uh, send you guys stuff. I'll send you some clips, too. I can't wait. I have some scenes I can send you. Hell yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you guys. Cheers. Cheers.